Good afternoon, traders. I was just checking on my swing trade with SPLG and I noticed, what's this? A red candle, right? These The, the SPLG follows the SPY, which follows the S&P 500. So it's a good indicator of that sector of the market. And this has been one heck of a run here for the past, I don't know, about three weeks now off of the 50 MA. Really unprecedented for uh, quite a while because every single time we've bounced off the 50 MA, it's been a pretty choppy ride and a quick to pull back. So this is pretty unusual, but that means that a pullback is eventually coming. Do, does that mean it's starting right here? I don't know. This could be a pullback on one candle and we could uh, bounce right back tomorrow and, and shoot up with new highs again. But you never know. And so I'm just making this video to uh, remind you to be prepared for whatever happens. Because, for example, for me, um, I'm trading SPLG and my position is this blue line. I got in for the break of this daily candle and I'm following the 50 MA line with my stop loss. So right now it is at, I believe it's one cent higher because it was one cent higher earlier today. It was at 46.19, if you can see up here. And right now it's at 46.18 because of this little pullback. So that's, and then I just kind of threw these lines on the chart. These are based off of the last three drawdowns and two of them actually coincided, overlapped and one of them so there's one here and there's two yellow ones together here and then i just calculated the average just for fun the the market doesn't have to follow any math rules whatsoever and it doesn't um, but this is just kind of a fun little thing to um to watch as this plays out and sees what happens i actually had these over here on this candle a few days ago because that was the all-time high and i kind of figured that it was going to start pulling back at that point but it didn't and that just goes to show you you can't really predict what the market is going to do so um, right now this is now assuming this is the all-time high which it may not be but assuming it is the average of all of those last three drawdowns puts me right here whenever this thing finishes pulling back, which is about 46.60. And um, so either way, I mean, I'm already in the green. I mean, this thing could come all the way down, which it won't. The SPLG ETF or the SPY itself, you know, doesn't move that much in one day. But even if it did, I, uh, I would still be in the green already on this trade. So nothing to worry about at this point. It's just a matter of how long this trend continues. And obviously I hope that um, this is just a one day pullback and we continue higher, or even if there's some consolidation here, that's fine. Uh, just stay away from the 50 MA and then everything is great. And that way the uh, trade lasts longer and I can catch more of the move. Assuming there is more of the move. Again, we've been trading at all time highs for a long time now. And you, you know, eventually things have to cool off, you think. So, um, this could be it. I don't know. I don't like to make those predictions. I just like to be prepared for whatever happens. And that's what I'm doing. I mean, I can remember back in the middle of summer of 2020, people were saying the next crash is coming and it never did. And here we are in April, almost one year later, um, still waiting for the sky to fall. So uh, instead of trying to time the market and assume that, oh, this is it, this is the big crash. Let me pull all my money out, just have a plan and stick to it. And as simple as that, that way, either you, when your, your trades get stopped out, you, you finish with a small green profit or a small red trade, and you're ready to get in at the next uh, entry signal. That's all you got to do. You don't have to hold and hope. You don't have to ride things all the way down. And, uh, that's it really. So just have a plan and stick to it. Always take your stop losses, always honor your profit targets. And in the long run, you should be green. Take care.